Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how to disable a keyboard shortcut on your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. Now I'm often asked about how to set up custom keyboard shortcuts. A shortcut for a menu item that doesn't normally have one. Sometimes though I'm asked how to disable a keyboard shortcut. So a shortcut that already exists but maybe you're accidentally triggering it because it's also used by another app in a different way or your fingers accidentally hit those keys. You can actually disable keyboard shortcuts as well. Now first there are two types of keyboard shortcuts. Ones that are system wide keyboard shortcuts and ones that are specific to an app. For system wide keyboard shortcuts it's actually kind of easy to disable them. So go to System Preferences and then Keyboard and then Shortcuts. And here you're going to see all these different lists of system wide keyboard shortcuts. And look there's check boxes next to them. Easy. All you need to do to disable them like for instance Show Desktop F11 is just uncheck that box. Now this keyboard shortcut won't work any longer. So if the keyboard shortcut you want is in here then it's easy to disable by using the check boxes. But what happens if it's a keyboard shortcut that's from a menu in an app. All of these ones that you see here. Well you can disable those as well but it's not as straightforward. For instance here in Pages let's say sometimes you're accidentally triggering Format Font Show Fonts with Command T. After all Command T is really easy to hit and it's used for other things like a new tab in Safari. What if we just wanted to disable that? Or maybe disable Command Q for Quit. Well the first thing you need to do is to note the exact menu item. So in this case it's Show Fonts. You're going to need to type this exactly just like if you were creating a custom keyboard shortcut. But here we don't need to create a custom keyboard shortcut. There's already a shortcut for it. We need to get rid of this one. And we could do that in a few different ways. Now the most obvious way may seem to be to assign a new keyboard shortcut to it. And this works. In System Preferences in that same location go to App Shortcuts. Add a new app shortcut by clicking the Plus button. Set the application to the app that you want. In this case Pages. And for the menu title type it exactly. And Now just assign a new keyboard shortcut. You could make it something a little bit different than what's already there like Shift Control Command T instead of Command T. So you still have access to the menu item through a shortcut but it's not as easy to trigger. Or you could go with something really obscure that you would never use just to get it out of the way. Like Shift Control Option Command F12 and add that. And now if you look here you'll see that's the keyboard shortcut. Command T no longer does anything in Pages. So effectively you've disabled it by assigning it to something very obscure. But there's another way to do it as well. And that is to assign the same keyboard shortcut to something that you would never use. So to do this what you need to do is find a menu command that's not usually activated. What I mean is it's grayed out. See how different things are grayed out here and you can't actually use them? Like look here under Format, Table and then Unmerge Cells. The only reason that would be an active menu item is if you're actually in a table and you've merged two cells and now you've selected them and want to unmerge them. Otherwise this is going to be gray and unusable whether it's by the keyboard shortcut or through the menu item. So let's use Unmerge Cells for this example. But you could use anything that you regularly see as being gray because the correct item is never selected for the type of work you do. So let me get rid of this here. And instead I'm going to add for Pages Unmerge Cells. And we're going to use the keyboard shortcut Command T. That's the keyboard shortcut that we want to get rid of for Show Fonts. Let me add it. Now if I go to Format and then Table I can see that Unmerge Cells is now Command T. And if I go to Format Font Show Fonts there's nothing because I've used that keyboard shortcut somewhere else and my customer shortcut will take precedence over the one that's part of the app. So you could do the same thing for Quit. If I go to System Preferences and let's make Unmerge Cells Command Q. Now in Pages if I look at Quit Command Q is gone from there because Command Q is now for Format, Table, Unmerge Cells. What's even better is I can continue to use Command Q to get rid of other menu items. So let me add 
Show Fonts again and make that Command Q as well. Now Unmerge Cells is first so it's going to get the keyboard shortcut. Show Fonts is going to miss out because it's using the same keyboard shortcut but it's in the list after Unmerge Cells. So now with Pages, Quit Pages still has nothing. Format Font Show Fonts has nothing. And only Format Table Unmerge Cells has Command Q. Another way to go would be to assign your Control, Shift, Command, Option, F12 to all the menu items you want to disable. Only the very first one on the list would actually get that keyboard shortcut which you wouldn't use anyway and the rest of them would just be blank. This would probably be the way to go in an app like Safari where you can look through all the different menus and it's really hard to find something that would always be grayed out. So in that case if I wanted to get rid of Quit Safari I would add a new keyboard shortcut for Safari for the menu item Quit Safari and then make that something really obscure like this and add it. Now note what happens then is there's a menu hidden behind Quit Safari that's Option Command Q. Option Command Q gives you Quit and Keep Windows. It's harder to hit but since we've now gotten rid of Command Q for Quit Safari this one's going to show through. But the result is the same. I can't use Command Q to actually quit. And if I wanted the menu to look nice and neat I could just add Quit and Keep Windows and give it the same keyboard shortcut like that. And now you can see it changes back to Quit Safari with that obscure shortcut here that I'll never accidentally trigger. So there are a bunch of different ways to disable specific keyboard shortcuts on your Mac. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.